There's been other alternatives, so I'll cover some of those later on. But this video will really be a step-by-step -step how to create that PayPal account and things to really watch out for. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, my goal is at the end of this video is to be able to walk you guys through the process of opening your PayPal account and other alternatives that you might want to try out. Now, if this is your guys' first time on my channel, my name is Diana Lacaba. I am the virtual ate. I've been working from home since I was 15 years old and now have an outsourcing agency in the Philippines. And I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, today I'm filming in my childhood bedroom because I'm home for the holidays and it was really perfect timing because my awesome youngest sister is turning 18 so now I can create her own PayPal so you guys will really get to see from scratch how to create a PayPal account now if you guys have never heard of PayPal before it's one of the easiest ways and honestly at that time when I was starting out working online one of the easiest ways to really transfer money from the US from the UK if your client is not from the Philippines it's one of the easiest ways to move money but since then there's been other alternatives so I'll cover some of those later on but this video will really be a step-by-step -step how to create that PayPal account and things to really watch out for I really want you guys to make sure to stay at the end of this video so you guys will be able to see all of the tips and a little bit of letdowns that PayPal really has if you're starting to create your account. Now one of the reasons that PayPal is one of the easiest way to move money is you really just need someone's link or someone's email address to be able to move money. Unlike if you were doing a bank to bank transfer where you have their bank account, they need a routing number and all of that. And it's also really easy to track that money moving also. And PayPal also makes it really easy for you to track that money. Again, unlike bank to bank transfer which is why if you're thinking of working from home you probably need a PayPal account now to just get us started I'm going to grab my computer and we can walk through this part of the video now when you guys go to paypal.com uh, you basically just want to go to sign up that sign up button right there and then that will take you to the sign up page now here is where a lot of people really get confused about which type of PayPal account to open now if you are a freelancer if you're someone who is just exchanging their services online you're probably going to go with personal account but if you are someone who is selling goods you are selling products that's when you want to change into a business account keep in mind though that if you are registering as a business account you might have to verify some of your papers so for example like business registration or stuff like that so really keep that in mind if you're going with business account but for the purposes of this video and for my sister I'm just going to choose personal account okay now one thing you guys have to keep in mind and you have to click and be mindful of clicking is make sure that you click whatever country you're from so it automatically goes to the US uh, but you of course since I am in Asia I will click Philippines so here you'll input your number just so they can verify who you are I'm just gonna fill out my sister's number here Now, the next step is you're going to have to confirm. There's going to be a code sent into your phone. So that's the next process here. And then you're going to be starting to set up your profile. Now, I'm going to fill out my sister's information really quickly right here. So just your email address. Now, again, I really recommend that if you're going to start freelancing, do not use your cringy teen's email address. Make it really formal. It could be just your first name and your last name at Gmail or just your first name even or just a shortened version of your name. Because keep in mind, you are going to be applying with this email address and this email address now on your PayPal moving forward is the email address that you're going to be sending to future employers if they want to send you money. So make sure again that it's clean, that it's not cringy, and it's one that looks professional. Now when you're filling up the name, make sure that it matches your ID. As much as possible, don't use an alias because then it's going to be a little bit harder for you to verify yourself later on and be able to withdraw money out. So really keep that in mind. Don't Again, don't use an alias, just your name as it appears on an ID. So then of course you have to create your password, you have to make sure that it has one letter and one symbol that you're going to insert in that. That way it's a little bit more secure. One tool that I really recommend is a tool called LastPass where you can save all your passwords in one place and you guys can check out my digital tools video right here. But basically it saves all your passwords plus you can generate passwords through there. So it's really easy and I'll make sure to put a link in the description below. So then you are going to want to click next and it'll of course load. So you guys will be able to see like I have multiple other Chrome extensions that I use to save passwords uh, right there. Again, it really 
remembers your password for you so you don't have to remember and you can use unique passwords every time. Next is you're going to fill out the other details like your date of birth. While it is true that you have to be 18 years old and above to open a PayPal account, if you are a minor like I was when I was 15 and I started out, I used my mother's information. I actually used my mother's PayPal account when I started out and it was all of her details or of her bank details so I can withdraw money out. So you really have to talk to a guardian if you are underage. However, if you are not from the Philippines, there are some PayPal accounts that can allow a secondary member for example or a student or teen account inside of paypal that way you have your own paypal account so if you are a teen and you probably from the us or from the uk that is one of the options that you have is you can just ask your parents if they have a paypal account to create a secondary membership for you that is called a student or a teen account and i'll put a link to that below so you guys can discover and see if that's possible for you and then next you want to grab uh, whatever identification that you have so here for the philippines our options are either the national id or passport or the driver's license now the passport is one of the strongest ids and it's one of the ids that they will ask for anyway if you put your driver's license or the national id so it's better just go for that and make sure you do grab the right password number because later on when they do ask for a picture of your id this is their reference point again you want to make sure that you put in the accurate information here so later on if they're going to do any disputes for example you are able to give them the right ID that matches the information that you put in as you sign up and then here you will be given an option to activate one touch which I don't really recommend unless you've been losing PayPal for a while I recommend just confirming and you can activate that later on now one touch is an easier way that you can pay for stuff later on but since that is not the objective for this video I'm not going to go through in that a lot again Google is your best friend and search and look it up now after that make sure that you confirm and of course if you really want to please read the user agreement and also the privacy statement so you guys can really have a good knowledge of how PayPal works now I'm going to go through a little bit of the warnings or things to look out for at the end of this video so make sure to tune in for that now I'll go to agree and create the account Account, and now your account has been created yay the next step now is going to make sure that you're able to add a some sort of bank account or card to start using your PayPal account now because my sister did just start 18 she doesn't have her own bank account yet but she'll be using mine for this purposes now it's going to be the same for you guys who you might not have a bank account yet you can go to someone who does someone that you trust not just anyone off the street but someone you can ask the money for later on as you withdraw the money from your PayPal so that's the magical thing about your PayPal is you can take it from the account and then withdraw it into a bank now sometimes it takes a few days sometimes it's instant depending on the level of your account but one of the easier way if again you don't have a bank account is just use someone else's one of their family members so you can just then just start on your freelancing journey Once you then have your card already linked, then you can just go to your account. Now again, make sure that you do connect it with a bank later on so it's easy for you to withdraw. Now connecting it with the card just ensures PayPal that even if you don't have anything in your account, they can still get money from somewhere else. So it's more of an insurance for them. Now as an insurance for you, when you get to your main page or your main account, go to link a card or a bank and here you're able to link a bank account so you're able to withdraw your money and this is where you'll be able to put in the bank name the bank code now you guys can easily search on Google what the bank code is depending on your bank and of course your account number and of course if it's not your name on the bank number you can just edit it right here and then make those edits as you need them now of course keep in mind that if you do want to change your bank account later on you can do that very easily and of course naturally you can only link an account that is based on your country so for example for us since we're in the Philippines then we can only link it to a bank account that accepts Philippine pesos so you know pop up account Oh, yay you know the one of the easiest ways that you can get paid is going to into the send and request click on request and create your get your own paypal.me now that's going to be a quick link that you're going to be able to send to potential clients if they want to pay you now it's going to be short so it's easy to remember and it's basically kind of customized to yourself so for this one you're going to have one add a photo but for this purpose of this video i'm not going to put my sister's photo and you can just make this to whatever you want it could be your nickname it could be a username that you use a lot just make sure it's easy for you to remember and again keep in mind that your employers are going to see this so keep it professional as possible so make sure you just agree and then agree and create and later on you can change your photo at any time if for example you're changing your business 
then the next step to be able to really verify your PayPal account is now to go into the card that you put in at the beginning. You're going to want to go to Wallet and basically click on the card that you want to verify. Now, right here, you'll be able to see confirm your card. Now, this means that they will take a little bit of an amount from your card, and you should be able to see that in your banking statement. Now, what this means is they're going to take a small charge from your bank account. So, you just want to look for it. So, if you don't already have the app for your bank, make sure to download it so you can easily see that statement come up as they take away the charge. Now, the point of this is for them to put a code in the bank statement that you will then put into PayPal to verify the card. Now to do that, just click get a code. Now it usually will say that it'll take about five to seven business days to be able to show up on your statement. But if you already have the app on your phone, it will usually just show up. Now I even have it right here where they took out a hundred pesos from my account and I can input that code that they gave me at the end. Now I can enter the code and they really give you where to look for the code. And I just hit confirm. And now the card is good to go. Now this means that you're further verified on PayPal to be able to do more things. Now a few tips and reminders that you really have to keep in mind if you have a PayPal account. One is that you can only have two personal accounts. If you have more than that, they will actually ban you from PayPal. Also, one thing to keep in mind, because my other sister who already has a PayPal account went through it, is they will hold your first few transactions on PayPal. So you can't withdraw it right away as you're building that relationship. Kind of like with a real bank where you do have to verify that you are a real person. Your money might be on hold within PayPal. Don't panic. It happens to everyone. Keep in mind that you are building that credit. For me, since I've had my PayPal account for the last 10 years, I don't have have to it's very easy for me to withdraw money to pull money out it usually takes like 10 minutes for me to pull out money and that's because again I've built that relationship with them I have money coming in I know how to pull money out I use PayPal to pay for my Canva or my two buddy subscriptions so they can see that I really use an account that I'm not a bot so that's basically what that means so just wait again it's just the first few transactions that you do through PayPal later on it's going to just free up and be easy for you to be able to get now one tip that you guys can do to be able to speed up that three week wait is to be able to mark that transaction as processed that way again you are verifying that you are a real person you're verifying that you did do a some sort of service or reason why that money was sent to you now the next thing you have to keep in mind if you have a PayPal account is if you're sending from a personal account to a personal account it's going to be free but it's a personal to a business account there's going to be fees because you're paying someone else's business so just keep that in mind and the last thing keep in mind that's a little bit painful if you are sending from the Philippines into the US so a different currency there's going to be a higher fee so really keep it in mind now I'm going to talk about the alternatives to PayPal that you can use that's going to be a little bit easier now one that I I have used a lot myself in my business is TransferWise. Now TransferWise is kind of like a bank-to-bank -bank transfer except it's all digital. You can actually track where the money is. Now I've used this myself in my business where it's super easy for you to be able to track. Now it will depend if your employer has a TransferWise account. You're not the one creating a TransferWise account, they are. There will be some fees on their end but the up to them how they will calculate that but that's one of the ways that you can get money out of the US. Now when you surprisingly that you can get paid is through Google Pay Send. Now I haven't done this myself but I've heard a lot of really good things about it but it's one of the ways that kind of like if you're buying an app on Android and you're able to pay through Google Pay it's kind of the same way. Now again you guys have to do a little bit of research on this but on Google Pay it's kind of like the same with PayPal where it's a Google Pay to Google Pay account but again it's another way that you can get paid online. Now if you guys really like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and leave a comment below if this video helped you or if you have any further questions that I can hopefully help out. Now our featured comment for today from our last video is from Uniquely Ashante's Corner where she asks, thanks for sharing these tips. Can you please tell me what's the best place to look for online conferences for those looking to become proofreaders, writing editors, virtual assistants? Thanks in advance and take care. Now for this one, there's a ton of them on Eventbrite. But there's also starting to be a trend where it's going to also be found in Facebook events. So start looking for keywords, whether that's virtual assistant, whether that's editor, whether that's proofreader, and start looking for those conferences where you can attend so you can learn more. If you guys still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home. And you guys can check out these other two videos right here so you can get started on your online career. I hope you guys have an awesome day and remember that small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Set dog, how much is that doggy in the window? <coughs>